Get ready for the electrifying showdown in the race for solid-state batteries. It's a saga of innovation and ambition, where every milestone is a step closer to transforming electric vehicles as we know them. Picture this. Faster charging, longer ranges, and safer rides. All thanks to a breakthrough in battery technology. Amidst the flurry of contenders, one underdog is making waves. Tylon New Energy. Sure, they might not be a household name yet, but don't let that fool you. This Chinese startup is rewriting the rules of the game. In just half a decade, they've catapulted themselves into the spotlight with a game-changing innovation that's turning heads across the industry. So, what's their secret sauce? Brace yourself for this. Tylon has just unveiled a solid-state battery with double the energy density of anything we've seen before. Yes, you heard that right. Double. It's like going from a regular fuel tank to one that's twice the size without adding any extra weight. That's the kind of leap that leaves competitors scrambling to catch up. But numbers only tell half the story. Let's break it down. Tylon's latest prototype boasts a single cell capacity of 120 amps and a real-world energy density of a jaw-dropping 7,720 watt-hours per kilogram. To put that into perspective, it's like fitting a powerhouse under the hood of every electric vehicle, giving them the stamina to go the extra mile, literally. Now, let's compare apples to oranges, or in this case, Thailand's breakthrough to the competition. Take NEO, for example, with their impressive 150 kWh semi-solid state battery pack. It's no slouch, but when you crunch the numbers, Thailand's innovation shines even brighter. With its higher energy density, Thailand's battery could be the game changer that propels electric vehicles into the mainstream. So, what does all this mean for the future of electric vehicles? Buckle up, because the ride just got a whole lot more exciting. With Thailand leading the charge, we're on the brink of a revolution that promises faster, safer, and more efficient electric vehicles. The finish line is in sight, and Thailand is sprinting towards it with gusto. It's time to power up and embrace the electrifying future of transportation. The implications of this advancement in battery technology are huge. With a battery that can potentially double the range of electric vehicles, we could be looking at a major shift in the way we think about EVs. Longer ranges could mean fewer charging stops and ultimately make electric vehicles even more practical for everyday use. Tylon also mentions they've cracked the code on a bunch of key technologies that are going to revolutionize the game. First off, they've come up with these ultra-thin, dense composite oxide solid-state electrolytes. Basically, it's going to make these batteries super efficient and reliable. Then, there's the high-capacity cathode and anode materials. These bad boys are going to pack a serious punch when it comes to power. Tylon also figured out this integrated solid-state B molding process that's going to make these batteries easier to manufacture. It's like they're hitting all the right notes here. Now let's talk about the nitty-gritty details. The positive electrode of these batteries is using some high-capacity long-cycle lithium-rich manganese-based materials, and the negative electrode is using a composite lithium metal-based material that's ultra-wide, ultra-thin, and has some serious cycle stability and multiplicity. In other words, it's going to last a long time and deliver some serious power. But it doesn't stop there. Tylon has also tackled the issue of charged particles moving around inside the positive electrode. They've built this super-efficient ion and electron transport network to make sure everything runs smoothly. It's like they've thought of everything. Oh. And let's not forget about the flexible layer materials they've developed in-house. These babies are going to take the performance of the battery to a whole new level. They're saying it's going to solve all the range and safety issues we've had with traditional lithium batteries. That's a pretty big claim. But hey, if they can pull it off, it's going to be game-changing. And get this, Tylon is a pretty young company, founded in 2018 but they're already making waves in the solid-state lithium battery and material tech world. Plus, they got a sweet investment from a Chinese real estate developer called Country Garden, so it looks like they've got some serious backing to make all this happen. According to a press release from last year, Tylon wasn't starting from scratch. 
They've already completed a technology pipeline from various materials and different types of solid-state batteries. This pipeline included their first-generation semi-solid-state batteries, which reached a maximum energy density of 400 watt-hours per kilogram. These batteries still relied on some liquid electrolytes, but they represented a significant step towards a more efficient and stable power source for EVs. The next step in their progression was the development of second-generation quasi-solid-state batteries. These batteries pushed the energy density even further, reaching a range of 400 to 500 watt-hours per kilogram, while still utilizing some liquid electrolytes. They demonstrated Thailand's commitment to continuous improvement and their ability to refine their technology. Finally, in July 2023, Thailand announced the arrival of their third-generation all-solid-state battery. This marks a critical turning point. Unlike the previous generations, this battery completely eliminates liquid electrolytes, paving the way for the significant leap in energy density, 720 watt-hours per kilogram, that has captured the industry's attention. Unlike some competitors still in the early stages of prototype development, Thailand isn't shying away from mass production. They've secured funding and already have plans for a 10 gigawatt hour capacity factory slated to begin operation next year. The key to their success lies in the aforementioned recently unveiled all solid state battery prototype, boasting a record breaking energy density of 720 watt hours per kilogram. While the word prototype shouldn't be taken lightly in the research world, Thailand seems confident, claiming their production costs will be comparable to lithium ion cells, with even lower costs projected as production scales up. This could be a game changer, as cost has been a major barrier to wider adoption of solid state batteries. However, Thailand isn't the only one making waves. Last month, QuantumScape, a well established player in the SSB space, announced the shipment of Alpha 2 cells to automotive customers. Assuming continued positive customer feedback, the race for solid-state battery dominance is heating up. While established players like QuantumScape boast a head start in terms of brand recognition and established partnerships, Tylon New Energy's rapid progress and aggressive production timeline cannot be ignored. The coming years will be a fascinating test to see who crosses the finish line first ushering in a new era of electric vehicles with extended range, faster charging times, and improved safety. The solid-state battery race has become a global sprint, with both established players and up-and-coming startups vying for the top spot. While Thailand New Energy's aggressive timeline and record-breaking prototype have certainly shaken things up, the competition remains fierce. The coming years will display innovation and strategic maneuvering as these companies refine their technologies and navigate the path to mass production. Ultimately, the consumers stand to benefit the most, with the promise of a new generation of electric vehicles that offer a more sustainable and convenient transportation option. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section.